Oh no, I gotta go to school. It's gonna be a long day. Gabe and I'm here to talk to you about how the coffee pot solves human adaptive problems or how it's like a human adaptation. Um, so our adaptive problem here is making this brown powder into a drink. Uh, you don't want to just eat your coffee. You don't want to sprinkle your coffee on your oatmeal. You want to make it into a drink and that requires putting it with heated water which could burn you. It requires uh, getting all the all the granulated stuff out of the drink. It's, it's a complicated process. It's an adaptive problem. Here we have a coffee maker. I'm going to explain how this makes the perfect cup of coffee and how it is has the four values of a of a uh, adapt adaptation. First and foremost is the coffee pot's reliability. Now, this coffee pot's going to work the same way every time. If you put the same amount of water and the same amount of this stuff, coffee, in the machine, every morning you'll get the same strength cup of coffee. Without a doubt. I've tried this many times. Now second is the economy. So, the coffee pot is the most efficient way to solve the problem of making a cup of coffee. Let me explain to you why. You put some coffee in here, you put some water in, it percolates through, and you get yourself some of this in about a minute and a half. Perfect temperature, ready to drink, no grounds in there. There's some other ways to make a cup of coffee. First, we have the Melita. The Melita will make you a cup of coffee, but you have to heat up the water on the stove in a, po in a pot, or over a fire in a pot, and then you have to pour it through, and the whole time the thing's just wobbling around on there, it's, it's a disaster waiting to happen. It's not efficient at all. Also, you could just make cowboy coffee. Just heat up some water and pour some coffee in there, pour it straight into your water bottle, and hit the road, but you'll get a bunch of grounds in your teeth. You can filter the grounds with your teeth, but it's still going to go right down. Just, this is the most efficient way. <laughs> Third, there's the complexity of this thing. Let me just show you all the parts. There's this flap, that flap. You can pull this out and do this thing. Just flip this up and down. Um, this part comes out. It's at least four different parts to make a cup of coffee. Uh, there's a spring right here. 
Um, there's but there's five buttons, six buttons on the front of this, just to make coffee. Six buttons. Um, yeah, this thing's got electricity, water, so it's got to keep the water away from the electrical system. Uh, you got to put solid food parts and liquids and heat things and plug it in and fan the coffee while you're making it. It's an extremely complex system. It, it's pro it, may, it costs a lot to make a cup of coffee so efficiently. You got to have a lot of parts in there. Uh, and lastly, the improbable usefulness of this thing is impeccable. You know, you can't really... You gotta pay one for one appliance to do one job, and it does that job exceptionally well, but it does pretty much nothing else. Um, you can't cook food, and you can't crack eggs in here, and then get scrambled eggs at the bottom. You can't uh, you can't use it as a stool. I you can't sit on it. Um, you can't use it as a pillow. It's far too uncomfortable to use as a pillow. Um, you can't bake cookies with it. We're gonna give that a shot. Just to test out the hypothesis. Can you make cookies with a coffee pot? To see if this thing has another use other than making coffee. Daddy sing babes. Daddy sing babes. Daddy sing babes. Sing bass. I took my boat for a car. I took that car for a ride. Let's see how they turned out. Oh man, the cookies burned.
any coffee? Sure. <laughs> Spread the love, man. Spread the love. Now I'm so energetic and ready to do things. Oh boy. Human adaptive problem solved. 